Some people have asked me in past videos to show more of the water jet and since I'm using it right now to make a nameplate for a melting furnace that I'm going to be using in some upcoming videos on warp perception as well as this channel, I thought this was a great opportunity to show everybody my water jet setup and how I make parts from the time I get the idea in my head to the finished part. Let's go. And I'm not even gonna lie, every time I have to make a part on the water jet, I get excited because I know that I'm gonna end up with a part that looks absolutely amazing and I also don't have to worry about what type of material I'm cutting because the water jet cuts everything except for diamonds and tempered glass. Now most of the time, but not always, I'll sketch it out on paper just to get an idea for how I want it to look also so I don't forget any of my dimensions. I just wanna do kind of a plate and then just warped perception. Then I need just two mounting holes here. And if you're wondering why I hold my pencil like that, it's because of this. The space between my holes is gonna be 7.13 inches. And the diameter of my hole is going to be 0.20 inches. The height of my plate is gonna be 2.75 inches. Now that I have all my dimensions sketched out, the next step is open up the Protomax layout software create a new drawing and draw out my part like I sketched it. Next thing I have to do is clean the drawing. That's gonna remove any extra dots or anything that I missed. Then I'm gonna save it. Next, I'm going to hit Auto Path and that's gonna create the tool path for my cut. Now I need to hit Post. That exports my tool path and saves that as a tool path file. Now that I have my tool path exported, I'm gonna open up Make, which is the CAM software for the water jet. Open my tool path file right there, Smelter Furnace nameplate. I'm gonna select my material, stainless steel, thickness 0 0.065. Open that up and there's my tool path ready to send to the water jet. All I have left to do is load my plate and hit start. All right, it's all done. And as you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic. Perfect. The moment of truth. Let me see if it fits. It's gonna have to bend it a little bit. Just mold it. Just gonna mold it a little bit, just like this. So those ends are not sticking out. There we go. Well, that looks a little bit too much. Oh man, that looks pretty good. Check that out. I think the nameplate came out pretty good. And that right there is how you make parts on the water jet from start to finish. This was a really simple part, but I've made some very complex parts on the water jet. It never ceases to amaze me. And I think it's one of my favorite tools that I use. Hopefully you found this informative, inspiring, or entertaining. Tell me what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.